Hello everyone, my name is Miriam Stachio and this is a collaboration video with Ed Course. This video is going to be about the Poison Dark Tower as it got a recent buff with the Gun Witch patch. So to start this off, what you're going to really need as a main priority is the Toxic Shock Bow that drops from Grand Fall Bazaar. Now what you really want with this bow is, obviously it comes with the first passive by default, which is Viper's Bite. Poison Dark Tower deals 10% more damage. When a poisoned enemy dies, it detonates dealing 134% of your defense power stat as damage to enemies in a 1504 radius. Now, what the other passive you want is M Venom. Poison Dark Tower poison attack rate is increased by 15%. That is that is very important as you want the de the poison to tick as often as possible. Now, onto the spheres. For your small spheres, you are going to want to use two poison dart range spheres, like this, and Ed, what's the third sphere again? I've actually forgotten. 20 speed. This actually shows how much I use small spheres. I don't know where the small sphere is for that. Anyway, use the 20 speed speed spheres since I can't find it. Oh, okay, I was already using it. And then for your medium spheres, you want to use two 25% poison dart radius spheres. And then for your large sphere, you'll want to use your poisonous stacks that increases your poison darts poison stacking limit by 16%. That just basically means that when it ticks the poison, it's just going to tick more damage. As you can see here, the damage is very high. The poison itself, the actual tick, is very high. Compared to what it used to be, this tower is actually viable now.